Francis King Noble Black Supremacy. And with this particular video, I want to talk about Usher, Herpes, STDs, and the blame game within the black community. I got to go in on this. And it also relates back to the persecuted penis. I got to go in on that. The persecuted penis, the black man, phallic symbol, being persecuted within this time. We see the R. Kelly, Kevin Hart, Usher, Bill Cosby. The list just goes on. It's unstoppable. And even Rick Ross for the controversial statements that he made. This is all proving my point of the black persecuted penis. But now Usher. For one, we got to look at this. Black people did not create herpes or create these STDs, syphilis, gonorrhea, AIDS, whatever you want to call them. All these diseases come from the white man. And every disease we suffer from is a symptom of white supremacy in this society. Every single disease we suffer from is a symptom of white supremacy. When blacks came over here on the boat, we didn't bring herpes. We didn't bring gonorrhea. We didn't bring syphilis. We didn't bring HIV, AIDS, chlamydia. The list goes on. We never brought any of these diseases over here. So we got them as a result of being with the white man, of being over here with this devil brought over here against our own will. Now we know the white man gave the Native Americans smallpox that wiped out a large percentage of their population. So the white man is disease, he's a disease to the earth, and he carries these diseases everywhere he go. The disease to the planet that he is, is causing climate change. He is literally destroying the planet without any remorse or regret. The white man is a disease. So the white man gave these diseases to black people, to African people. They're the origin of disease, of all of these diseases. Their communities, their societies, their management of resources, their health care, these concrete jungles that they created that fester diseases, the social dynamic that's in force that you put in is where these diseases are formed. We know HIV was created by white, comes from a monkey, white man sleeping with a monkey and being spread through the gay community by them experimenting with antibiotics, wiping out a person's immune system, creating super viruses through experiment with antibiotics. So we know AIDS was created and HIV was created by the white man. It's a white man that got a patent on it. The white man patent fucking HIV. So all these diseases, STDs come from the white man. And even if you say, okay, we know they came from the white man, but it's blacks within the community still passing these, these diseases around and spreading them among one another. Then you got to ask, well, why is these diseases still going on? Where is the money? How is these societies being managed? Where resources are put towards funding and actually curing these diseases? How is the white man who is in power, who is running this country, how is he managing taxpayers' money and funding in order to cure these diseases that exist. Is he mismanaging the human resources of the people that he control in America where he's not allocating the proper funding for the control and cure of these different diseases within our community? Because keep in mind, we live within his matrix. So responsibility still falls on him. It still falls back on the white man. But the white man never gets any responsibility because we play the blame game within our own community. We're about blaming each other. 
and the blame really becomes lucrative when you can blame another black person that got money then the blame is important if you sleep with somebody who ain't nobody and you get an STD from them you're not going to even be proud to say you even slept with that person because they're nobody but if somebody with some money it's now lucrative to do an expose on that person so now you can make money off the blame game when it comes to blacks blacks are caught up into the blame game blaming each other the sister said the black woman she said Usher gave her herpes exposed her to herpes I can't argue that I don't know the facts clearly he and he participated in some type of settlement settlement with one woman and possibly exposed others to it but then you got to ask yourself who exposed Usher to herpes and can he go and sue them or are they worth suing or do they have the money or are they worth mentioning because they're only worth mentioning if they have money or something you can get out of it you're not gonna come on TV and say I was drunk and slept with somebody and they gave me herpes and do a video on your own and just talk about this person because they're not relevant it has to be something lucrative something to gain in it but who gave um, Usher herpes is he suing them can he go back and sue them for all the money that now he has to pay because now because of them he's exposing other people to herpes and who exposed the person who exposed Usher to herpes and can they go back and sue that person and on and on and who exposed that person to herpes that exposed that her person to herpes exposed that person to herpes and if you go all the way back you're going to go back to the white man you're going to go back to the goddamn devil you're going to go back to the origin of all diseases and the inability to cure these diseases and treat these diseases it's going to go right back to the white man. It's going to go right back to the goddamn white man. Because the fact that these diseases have not been cured shows a mismanagement of resources and human priorities within the black community as and the white community, but within the black community as well. And I'll go into that. If we spend less time on the blame game because the blame game is no, goes nowhere and we put more time on being able to heal these STDs these diseases these sicknesses of mind if we take time and master and perfect being able to heal them put more energy to that than the blame game I guarantee you that most of these STDs or whatever you call it would have already been healed society would have already been cured of them but we spend more time investing our energy in the blame game investing our energy into trying to personally come up off of our victimization by our own when our people as a whole are victims of the system and the institution of white supremacy but we spend so much time and energy and resources blaming our own that if we put that energy and time into healing our own, then we would go a lot, we would go a lot further. So the $10 million that Usher is being sued for, for exposing this woman to herpes, or the one million that he paid, that money should go to not to some woman you follow. To give it back to the white man. We need reparations as a community to cure the ills that we suffer from the white man as to being a part of his society, being a part of his system, and being a part of his uncivilization that we're forced to be in. That we're bombarded with his propaganda, his education. We've been socialized in a way to disease each other, to sicken each other. To abuse each other domestically 
to assault each other, to insult each other. His society has created these things as being in this society under this white man. This is a fact. And then beyond the society, he even went and took AIDS and spread it in Africa as population control to destroy Africa. You see Bill Gates going over there giving out polio vac vaccines that's just fucking the children up. So I'm not saying nothing about the white man that ain't true, that can't be researched. The white man has spread these diseases. But when it comes down to the existence of the disease, the dis-ease, the black man gets blamed for it. And you see that with Usher. So a million dollars or 10 million shouldn't go to this black woman for her to give it all back to the white man to feel that she has some, she has addressed her victimization of a black man when the poisoning of our community. The black man is not responsible for that. For chemical warfare against a black man and a black family and a black community. Usher's not responsible for that. But the narrative is that she's a victim of the black man. So she pays, the black man ends up paying the reparations. The black man ends up paying the penalty, dealing with the consequences while his slave master, his oppressor, hides behind the scenes and points to the black man. You guilty, Negro. You're guilty. Guilty. You did this. You're guilty. The black man gets prosecuted and persecuted in the media. While the real diabolical devil sits back and makes money off of all of it. This $10 million should go to research, to naturopathic healing and naturopathic medicine alternative medicine to cure the black community of the sicknesses and the diseases that we have got by being in proximity and being having forced to live within this society, within these communities, within this police state, within these concentration camps that have been created by this white man to cure these diseases, to heal our community from these diseases. Because no one person is responsible that's black. The blame game goes on forever, no matter what it is. The blame game never ends. So when do we stop the blame game? When do we stop being a victim of black people and realize that black victim of a black man, victim of a black person and realize that black people are victims of an oppressive system that breeds disease, sickness, and illness, that breeds death, that be breeds genocide. When do we realize that? And then do, when do we come together as a people not to play the blame game and blame each other for the diseases and sicknesses that exist within our community and focus on holding the real person who originated all this accountable that's per still perpetuating and maintaining a system that manufactures these diseases, distributes them and disseminates them, hold him accountable and find healing and few tr true cures for these diseases and put our time, energy and our resources towards that. Because a blame game might make one black person feel good that they are victorious and a hatred of another black person for whatever reason but it's not going to heal the community it's not going to heal the, the sickness that we suffer from as to live in, in this oppressive state under white supremacy the blame game is not going to heal that it's going to take nation building it's going to take a collective approach to solving our problems and our issues to re to healing our community as a whole working together to heal our community as a village not blaming one person. I had to go in on that. So that's where our time and our energy needs to go to. Healing our community as a whole. Usher, like I said, Usher didn't invent herpes. Usher didn't give himself herpes. 
and the person who gave Usher herpes didn't give himself herpes and the person before that didn't give themselves herpes. So stop being distracted by the blame game. And let's focus on the cure. Let's focus on the elevation. Let's focus on transformation. Let's focus on well-beingness and put our time and energy and resources towards that. Otherwise, we're still part of the problem. We're still part of the problem. Because we're dealing with the symptom, is which, which is one person with a disease is only a symptom of the systematic and institutional problem. It's only a symptom of the societal problem. It's only a symptom of white supremacy that must be attacked and must be destroyed. And we must heal from that itself. White supremacy is the one disease that all black people suffer from. And it's, it worse, it's worse than, than all other ones because it causes black self-hate. And it's the black self-hatred that distracts you from the cure from all of the diseases that you, so, you spend so much time hating another black person that you don't even spend time curing the fucking disease to the point that the story was pushed that these women got herpes and that it is an incurable disease. That's just not a fact that herpes is incurable. You have to study all medicine, Ayurvedic, naturopathic, homeopathic. You have to study health internationally and research to come to the definitive and conclusive statement that herpes is incurable. That statement itself is a rigged statement. And it has to be presented and marketed as incurable in order for there to be a, a definitive victim. Because if it's curable, that takes away some of the victimization. So now we have to market to millions of people that herpes is uncurable when anybody studying natural health know that there are many rem remedies and treatments and alternative methodologies dealing with herpes and any STD or any disease. But that won't come out in your mainstream media because victimization is rewarded. And the worse the victimization, the greater the reward. And the blacker the person is, the greater the potential for reward. But that's a whole nother video. We got to cut the blame game out in all areas of our life. Quit blaming the black man for what the white man has orchestrated and manufactured in this country. The diseases and all. This is King Noble Black Supremacy. Join my website, www.kingnobleuncensored.com.